What's up guys, aka Sam Minimouse here, and today I have a quick update on a DS emulator, which is basically running at full speed on Android devices. Now, if you saw my previous video, it was about uh, DSMU, or NDS for Droid, which is uh, a beta version, or basically a different version of a DS emulator, but it was quite slow on even quad-core devices, or even some of the fastest devices out there. So today I'm going to be showing you a application from the Play Store. It's called Drastic, and it is also a DS emulator, but it uses uh, two BIOS files, which basically allow the games to run at full speed. Now, if you don't know about this, you can just go to the Play Store, and when you go to search, just type in D R A S T I C. Drastic, and it should be the first one, Drastic DS Emulator. And as you can see, it is $10 on the Play Store, but you could find a crack somewhere, but I recommend that you get it from the Play Store because it's worth every penny. You're getting DS ROMs and a fully working DS Emulator on your Android device. And if you have a 1 GHz processor, it should be should be fine on a 1 GHz processor as well, but I always recommend dual core, quad core, uh, any any latest technology out there for this emulator would be most suitable. Now, right now I'm using my ASUS TF700T Infinity Pad, which is extremely fast, um, but let me show you a quick demonstration. Alright, so when you when you first start Drastic DS Emulator, it's going to tell you to uh, find these two files, which you're going to have to download from Google. And if you need any help with that, I can help you with that. You can just leave a comment and I'll write there what to do. It's not that hard, you just have to download two uh, separate files for this emulator to run successfully. Uh, you just browse for those files and Drastic should be ready to go. Now. Let's just say I want to open um, a game. So, as you can see, I have some games here. For demonstration, I'll put Pokemon Platinum because most people are going to play Pokemon. Yes. So, as you can see, the sound is not even lagging. This isn't lagging at all either. Full speed. Now you could set this um, uh, set keyboard keys or you know different mappings for your like such as a physical controller. You could actually connect it to this emulator and play without touching a screen. Now if if I want to switch between uh, between screens, just click. As you can see, it gives me the bottom screen. And if I need the top screen, just click again. It gives me a top screen. Now there are also cheats enabled inside of this. Um, it's already preset for games. I don't think you can input cheats yet. But as you can see, you can change the layout of how the DS emulator looks. You can load and save your game, and you can also fast forward the game. So you know, Pokemon, you know, you could probably beat it in in a day. You know. You just fast forward the game. If you're familiar with the GBA emulators on Android, you can also fast forward at that. And this is just a full running um, DS emulator. Now, besides Pokemon, let me show you another game. Um, let's see, we put Animal Crossing. Yes. Just click continue. Oh, hold on. I think I have to exit out. Okay, load new game. Yes. So as you can see, Animal Crossing.
so it's working at full speed. You know, all of these games work perfectly. Uh, I can change between the bottom and top screens. And it's just, it's very nice, you know, to have a, probably the first DS emulator that runs this fast, you know. Um, it's $10 in the Play Store, but I think it's worth buying. It's a very good start. Guaranteed it'll keep on getting better, even though it's already good, uh, right out of the Play Store. So, yeah, this is my quick overview and look of Drastic DS Emulator. If you have any questions about this emulator, or um, if you need any help getting this emulator set up, just leave something, leave a comment in the comment section, and uh, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.